the yay effects. Not only are they putting out fake colorways that are not approved. Commonly defined as the influence or the sway that Kanye West has over things. And if you're wondering where I got that definition from, well, I made it up. I think it holds though. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the yay effect and I'm gonna be giving you guys my thoughts on the recently acquired Yeezy slides I picked up. I think I'm one of the half dozen or so people that recently made a purchase of the recent Yeezy release. I've resisted the urge to jump on the Yeezy slide trend because up until recent times they have been pretty much unattainable and the idea of paying resale for these things just has not been what I've been about and so because they were just sat there doing nothing on the confirmed app I thought hey man let's just try these out and see what all the fuss is about this particular colorway is called the resin I'm gonna say they take inspiration from the resin or residue that's left over in the bottom of your grinder maybe definitely quite soft and squishy responsive to the touch the production dates on the inside sticker says April 22. And so these were produced two years ago nearly to the day. It's not until you get these in hand that you realize just how good the margins must be on these things. But of course the big thing about the Yeezy slides is the comfort and so putting them on foot I did find them really comfortable although even sizing up an entire size I still found these to be quite tight. I'm almost tempted to send these back and wait for another go around to cop another pair in an even bigger size. I do get the fun I do get the fanfare. I'm pleased that I copped these for retail and I'm pleased that I never paid resale. And so now let's talk about Ye and the Ye effect. Ye went on Instagram to rant about Adidas releasing this latest Yeezy release on the confirmed app. Not only are they putting out fake colorways that are not approved, they're suing me for $250 million. After he made this video and then he made this post on IG, essentially calling out to his fan base to boycott caught the purchasing of these 350s on account of the fact that he hadn't had anything to do with the approval of them these shoes suitably sat on the confirmed app a lot of people were pointing to Ye's monologue as being the causal reason as to why this entire stock sat therein evidencing the Ye effect now I'm not doubting for a single second that Ye's monologue as well as his attitude towards Adidas has no doubt influenced a lot of his his fanatical fan base. When Ye says to boycott Adidas and not buy a certain Yeezy, there are going to be a whole legion of fans out there that are gonna acquiesce to that request. But there's also another reason that explains why the latest batch of Yeezys sat on the confirmed app and why they've actually been pulled in the last week or so. And it's pretty simple, really. I think a lot of people out there are just sick of Adidas Yeezys. I think they sent the 350 V2 to an early grave via death by colorway saturation. And then post breakup, with Ye, it seems like Adidas have just been fumbling around with this big batch of inventory they have. It was the big palaver about whether or not they were even gonna release them, were they gonna donate them, were they gonna burn them, were they gonna sell them at a discount? And then when they did decide to stagger out the releases, the products that they decided to bring to market were pretty average. And given that the price point of Yeezys now is like 200 pounds or 220 bucks, that is just completely unacceptable. There has been a little bit of debate since Ye made this statement as to whether or not there's any validity to the claim of his that Adidas are in fact selling fake Yeezys. And there's a couple of ways to approach this. And it all hinges on how you define fake. If you define a fake Yeezy as an Adidas Yeezy sneaker that was devoid of any type of creative influence or creative approval, then I think Ye's argument holds firm. Some of these sneakers were produced in a post Ye era. According to him himself, he didn't approve of any of these colorways. And so the conclusion obtains in that because Ye didn't approve of these sneakers and an authentic or legitimate pair of Yeezys is a Yeezy that has Ye's creative approval, you therefore get the conclusion that these are indeed fake. But on the flip side, let's not forget that Adidas own the intellectual property. They own the patents over a lot of these sneakers, including the 350s. In fact, the only patent that Ye owns is the patent for the Yeezy slides. And so if you define a fake Yeezy as a Yeezy that is sold without the express authority of the owner of the intellectual property or the owner of the patents, then Ye's claim does not hold up. And so it would actually be an impossibility for 
for Adidas to sell, for example, a fake 350 because they own the intellectual property, they own the patents. And so by definition, Adidas can't possibly sell something they own as fake because what it is to be legitimate is to sell something that you rightly own. Now it's safe to say that Ye has moved on in recent times. He's released an album which has gone number one. He's enjoying musical success again. He's created this merch line and Yeezy line full of interesting clothing pieces at readily affordable prices. And even though there has been some issues around some people ordering stuff and it not being shipped, he has certainly realized one of his dreams in democratizing fashion, wherein he's been able to bring some of his fashion creations to the market at a very affordable price point for most people. Something that people have been pointing to with Ye in recent times that has been a little bit interesting and a topic of discussion is his propensity to rock the black Air Force Ones. And this of course has sent sections of the internet into a tailspin over whether or not Ye might likely collaborate with Nike again. And so let's analyze that idea. Would Nike really want to work with Ye again? And I think the answer is a resounding no. As cool as it might be to see a retro of the Air Yeezy Ones or the Red Octobers, as crazy as it would be to have Ye jump back on board with the Swish again, I think it is a preposterous idea rooted in naive fantasy. I mean, let's think about it. Nike dropped Kyrie Irving over some anti-Semitic stuff that a lot of people still don't even really understand. With Ye's long and storied controversial past, it doesn't seem to me to be the smart idea for Nike to want to team back up with Ye. I mean, at the moment, they don't even need him anyway. He's rocking the Air Force Ones in and of his own volition. Secondly, they've been there and done that before in the past. Ye getting back together with Nike would be the equivalent of a messy divorce being reconciled with another marriage. I also feel like Ye himself wouldn't really be up for it. I mean, one of the big problems that he had with Adidas was the lack of creative control, the lack of autonomy, and the subservience that he had to the brand ultimately, given they were the ones that were in charge and in ownership of the IP. And so I can't see a situation wherein Ye is able to negotiate a contract with Nike that leaves both entities well protected and mutually satisfied. And so whilst the idea of it, prima facie, seems kind of cool, Ye getting back with Nike, I don't think think it is a possibility whatsoever. And so in conclusion, I do think the Ye effect is still very real. Love him or hate him in 2024, he still has a huge influence over popular culture, fashion and sneakers and music. I don't think the fact that the recent Yeezy rollout that sat on the confirmed app and was subsequently pulled can be solely attributed to Ye's influence. I think there are other factors at play, including a bit of fatigue, including crap products, and a fashion slash trend climate that has simply moved on from a lot of these products. And finally, I've got my slides. I'm 50-50 as to whether or not I'm gonna keep them. They do run a lot smaller than I thought. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch the video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Always interested to hear your guys' opinions on these types of matters. Be sure to like the video before you bounce and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care for now, peace.